Hey guys, Erica with the K here. Now we're up to the moisturizers, primers, and setting sprays. I don't know why I put these all together, but I did. And I'm eating cereal without milk because we don't have it. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be getting rid of anything. Okay, so my main thing with this whole thing, which I've said from the beginning, is that I'm a makeup artist and just because it doesn't work for me or just because I might have dry skin and this might be a product for oily skin doesn't mean that it won't work for somebody else. So please keep that in mind during this video and understand that that is why I'm not getting rid of a lot of the products because just because it doesn't work for me doesn't mean it doesn't work for somebody else, one of my clients in the future, etc. So I guess let's just jump into this video. Um, I'm going to start off with moisturizers. So the first moisturizer, I don't know what happened to this, but I don't even know how to say this. Isurin? I don't know. I can't read for my life. So this is a moisturizer for sensitive skin. So I have this one and I have Olay, which has SPF in it. And this is for combination oily skin. Um, and then there is also Cetaphil, which is a moisturizer for all skin types, but also kind of for sensitive skin. So I am definitely keeping all three of these. It is good to have options in your in your kit if you're a makeup artist. Sometimes higher end things cause reactions on people's faces, too much perfume, too many weird chemicals in it um, to make it like high end. Sometimes it just you just need the bland, the basic, the drugstore, the known brand that you that you know and trust. Um, sometimes you just need that. Which kind of brings me to Pond's dry skin cream. I also use this on people. I like to keep a very basic assortment of moisturizers because I don't know what your skin is like and the last thing I want to do is put something on your face that's going to make you break out. So that would be awful. So there's that and then I also have this Vaseline Total Moisture. This is something that I use personally. This is not in my makeup case but this is what I use pretty much every day on my own face. I have very 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 dry skin. Now we're going to branch out into the higher end products. Um, so this is the Limelight Biocone. Again, if you are new here, then you will not know that I used to sell Limelight Biocone, which was a direct sales company, and I always air quote sell because I never sold anything. Um, it was very expensive to be a part of, and the products are very expensive, so I no longer sell it. But I do still have some products left over, and I wouldn't be against purchasing products in the future if they're at the right price point, but their brand is very expensive. Um, so I probably wouldn't be repurchasing. So anyway, I have the must do, which is just kind of like if you have very dry skin like I do, after you moisturize, it's just like an extra oomph to just kind of help your skin out. I do like to keep that. I have the Skin Therapist, which is great for people with dry skin. And then I also have the Sotox, which is good for all skin types, but mainly mature skin. So I do like to keep that in my kit as well. And then from, also from Lime Light Biocone, I have their One Drop Wonder. Um, this is pretty much a serum, and it is, uh, it's supposed to boost the other products, but honestly, I would use this by itself sometimes. Like, I know it sounds crazy, and I've said this in a video before when I used to sell the products, and I feel like people probably didn't believe me because I was selling it, but I feel like it kind of helps with my allergies. Like, if I feel extra congested or nasally or whatever the case is, I have really bad allergies, I feel like it kind of helps a little bit. It kind of, like, suits it, so... Um, I would never purchase this again because it was $80. Yeah, you $80 for this little thing of 0.5 fluid ounces. So no, I would never purchase it again. But I am glad that I have it. Um, yeah, so I'm not get. I'm definitely not getting rid of it. That's that's for sure. Okay, since we're talking about Limelight Balcon, I'm just gonna jump right into this first base makeup. This is a primer for your face but it's in like setting spray form so you pretty much like spray it and then you do the makeup i never reach for it i never use it i'm not even sure what the heck it really does i don't even know if it really does anything i've never noticed a difference so i am actually going to be passing this along it was also very expensive i think it was like 36 dollars or something something like that 30 something 20 something i don't know it was, it was expensive but there's still a good amount left i'm going to be passing that along okay what else do we have I guess we can continue talking about setting sprays now that I already opened up the setting spray thing. Okay, so I have I have these from NYX. They're both setting sprays. One of them is a matte finish and one of them is a dewy finish. Some people who have oily skin like to have a matte finish at the end. They don't want to see any shine because they're so overseeing shine on their face. Normally when they do see shine, it reminds them of something bad, which is like to them is bad, like oily skin or acne or... Stuff like that. So a lot of times people who have oily skin want a matte finish. 
I like to use a setting spray pretty much on everybody. Some people, some makeup artists you could talk to and they'll say, no, by the end of the day, your skin will do it itself, blah, 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 blah. I like to use a setting spray on everybody. So this is a great option for people who have oily skin. And then this is a great option for people who have dry skin. This is a dewy finish. I do like personally dewy finishes because I have very dry skin. So I just like that I have these two options for people in my makeup case at all time. Um, then I also have this Makeup Forever Makeup Setting Spray. It is a mist, mist and Fix. It is the same thing. It's a setting spray. Setting spray is a setting spray. Um, I also have this one from e.l.f. Cosmetics. It's the one that I use today. It is a mist and set. And it is good. I'm not getting rid of it. This I'll use for my own personal collection. And then another one that I use for personal use is this Master Fix. I had mentioned this in a video before. It has kind of a funky smell, like a funky after smell. And I was doing makeup for a client that I've had for years and years and years. And I was like, listen, I'm going to spray this on you. I was like, it kind of has like a weird after smell. And I sprayed it on her. And she was like, am I going to smell like this all day? And it literally clicked in my head. I'm like, here's a, here's a client who was comfortable enough to ask me that question. How many people have I sprayed this on that weren't comfortable enough to ask me that question and are not panicking that they smell like this all day? Which the answer is no, you wouldn't smell like it all day, but totally understandable question. So I no longer use it on other people. I only use it on myself, which is fine anyway. It's, it's a drugstore brand. I'm not losing sleep over it. Let's get into more serums. I only kind of briefly touched on the serums. A great serum that I found is this I don't even know how to say it. Jojo, 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 blah, 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 oil. And uh, it's an antioxidant serum. And it's just great. If you're into serums and stuff like that, you could use this by itself. You could use it with moisturizer, under moisturizer, before you moisturize. This is great. Um, I do like it, so I will be keeping it. I don't really use serums on people, like, if I'm doing their makeup for a wedding, I won't like reach for a serum, but it's nice to have my own personal collection. And then I have the Honey Do Me Up, and this is a, it has gold flakes in it, and it's to increase skin radiance. Uh, I don't really know if that even works, but you know what? I bought it. I use it occasionally on myself. I don't use this on other people. Like, I just think it would be weird to be like, hey, let me put this on you. So I use it on myself. I will be keeping it for my own personal use. There you go. Another moisturizer. I don't know why this is like, this is a sample and I don't know why it like made it into my professional makeup kit. Like some of this stuff is professional, some of this is personal, but I know this came out of my professional makeup case and I don't know why I like put this sample in there, but it's supposed to be like super hydrating, um, like really hydrating. So yeah, I'm going to take it out of my professional case and use it in my personal life because I need that extra moisture and I don't really know if if what it boasts if it actually does it because I haven't used it enough to know but I am keeping it okay then I have these drugstore brand primers these are Maybelline and I have it in blur and illuminate 200 and I have uh blur and redness control in 300 I like them I don't really know if there's a difference between the two I personally haven't noticed it I do use I'll just whichever one I grab is the one that I'll use but I haven't noticed a difference or a huge improvement with the green one versus the pink one or whatever, tan one. Um, but I am going to keep them because they're they're in good condition and I, I like to just, if I want to use a primer that day, it's nice to have some options for myself. And then I have these two NYX primers and I have it in Angel Veil and... NYX Pore Filler, and I don't remember, I'm going to be honest, I don't remember ever using this one, so I definitely have to like, actually use it, and this one's pretty good, it, you could tell it's an oil-free formula, I was eyeballing this for like ever, it was like 20 bucks I think, and I was like, oh I really want to get it, I really want to get it, I don't know why I wanted to get it so bad, and then I wanted purchasing it, it is oil-free and you can kind of tell when you put it on, you could tell by like the texture that it is oil-free, but I'm going to be keeping both of these two. So this video was kind of short, I thought it was going to be way longer and I thought, I knew I wasn't going to be getting rid of too much stuff because I like to have a wide range of things for people, but I don't know, I thought this video was going to go a little bit different, but I hope you like this video, thank you so, so much for your love and support, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, I post a new video every Tuesday and Thursday, I have a blog on Saturdays and a vlog on Sundays, hope to see you guys soon, bye.